Now that we have our holes drilled and tapped in our cap, we want to bring our pin body over with the nib installed and test fit. That looks perfect. Always clean the threads on your mandrel before you install your cap. Otherwise, if there's something caught in the threads, it can damage. These are such fine threads inside of the cap, it can damage them. I spoke about cleaning the threads on the mandrel. I also want it known that I use this 3 8 inch bottle brush and I clean the threads on the inside of my cap blank as well, uh, just to make sure there was no debris that would cause an issue. The sanding went really well. I sanded it to 600 grit. There's still a lot of scratches in the blank. We're going to take those out with some of these pen polishing pads. Just really need to work up a slurry and you'll see that begin to build on the pad in front of the blank. And we're just going to work really well. See that? That's what we're going for when we rinse it off. And this will let us work down through all of those surface scratches. already see a little bit of improvement there. Still got a ways to go. I'm going to use a little bit of magic juice from Stadium Pin Blanks and we're going to polish this blank up.
You polish for 60 seconds and take a look at the results. Isn't that gorgeous? There are five more juices in the series. I'm gonna run through each polishing for a minute at a time and I'll come back and show you what this blank looks like. I just finished polishing with the Magic Juice. You can see the sparkles kind of uh, flash as the light hits them. Really a pretty blank. Uh, I'm going to get it over to my buffing wheels. I'm gonna buff it on the cotton wheel just to kind of clean it up and, and bring the luster up a little bit. And uh, then we will take a look at it uh, alongside the body and the section. Here's a quick look at my finished pen. It's beautiful in person. It's a little hard to see in the video because it is uh, dark. The red is very dark and then of course the black. And every now and then you'll see kind of the uh, sparkles light up in it. The section is solid black and it will fit a converter inside of the body. I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I hope you enjoyed watching me make it over the course of the last three videos. Here's a quick peek at the cap I turned in this video. And here is the body and section that I turned in the previous two videos. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. It was incredible for me to be able to just take the time to focus on making this pen and thinking really, really deeply about the process and then trying to document that process now, I really have good notes now, or I think I have good notes. They mean something to me. Um, I think they could be better, and there are some things I want to do to those notes to make them better. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with the progress. I'm in love with the pen. I really wish you could see it. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it is so hard to see in the video because the black and the dark red, um, they, they just I'm not getting the best light in my shop. Thank you for joining me for this and the previous two videos. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.